Wes, ha, mean friend, and welcome to it another video. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Oh, that's it. That is it. That is the line Mon Mothma is known for. And my dear friends, we know that Disney, they are trying to milk the Star Wars IP over and over and over again. They have beaten everybody. They have beaten Netflix. They have beaten Prime Video. They have beaten absolutely everyone. The huge corporations, filmmaking uh, companies that are trying to just rehash the same stories over and over again, making prequels, sequels, spin offs, rip offs, whatever, to the extent that everybody in the world is absolutely exhausted. Well, not everybody, but uh, a lot of people. Well, my dear friends, hello there. Welcome to European Law. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to a channel of a humble European fella who likes to rant about fancy on the internet. A man who has devoted his entire personal and academic life to the finer things, to the greats of the fantasy and science fiction genre of the 20th century, as well as old English literature and language. And that is why my channel is from a huge part devoted to defending these great stories against vile creatures of Prime Video, Netflix and Disney. And of course, I've also been a lifelong Star Wars fan, a Star Wars aficionado, a geek, saw the original trilogy when I was three years old for the first time, watched uh, The Phantom Menace when I was six, that was the first time when I went to cinema, and then of course, of course, read many novels and graphic novels from the old canon, the extended universe. And then Disney came, pom pom pom. And myself, I have to admit, as well as many other people, was fooled for a little bit there by The Mandalorian, which I enjoyed the first season, of course. And I was excited to see Luke Skywalker saving the crew of the ship at the end of the first season. Oh yes, I was clapping like the seal. But of course, there was only a fleeting moment. We know that Star Wars is uh, gone, it's, it has perished. Not the original films, of course, not the prequels, they are still great. But everything that was made post-Disney acquisition. And so that much that they are now making TV shows about side characters, about insignificant characters, just so there is more content for the consumers to consume. The prime example is Andor. Now, of course, many people are saying that it's good, actually. But when you've been abused by your partner too many times, you refuse to meet him or her again. Even if everybody tells you and the uh, partner is telling you, I am, I am good, I'm better now. No, too late. Been abused too many times. I refuse to watch Andor. I, I refuse to watch anything that's being put out by Disney as far as Star Wars goes. And it will be the same with this. Please, my dear, dear friends, look at the screen. The Mandalorian timeline may bring back a classic Star Wars character. Let us dive into the short article by BleedingFool.com. According to a new report, fans should expect to see a big Star Wars character show up in some of the franchise's upcoming Disney Plus series. The success of The Mandalorian all the way back in 2019 spurred a renaissance for the franchise and led to multiple shows being ordered. This includes next year's Skeleton Crew and Ahsoka, along with 2024's The Acolyte. Now, the Ahsoka is, again, again, just taking a character, making a show about the character, and just milking it. Now, yes, given Ahsoka is not really a side character, she has received a lot of space and time and attention, uh, starting with the Clone Wars, but still, still. The most recent project to hit Disney's streaming service was Andor, which went on to be loved across the board. Now, it seems a character within that series will be showing up in other entries further down the timeline. The Making Star Wars site uh, revealed some new information from their sources about a surprise Star Wars character who could show up in the shows taking place with the Mandalorian timeline. And the Mandalorian, my dear friends, the, the, sh the show itself is very well known for nostalgia bites and member berries. Like, a, a lot of characters appeared in that show, along with the, the book of Boba Fett, which is really <laughs> another uh, season of the Mandalorian. Now, 
there was a uh, Cat Bane and of course Boba Fett and uh, many other characters that I'm blanking on now because there was, uh, you know, Jabba the Hutt was there or some, no, Jabba was like gone at the time, his, his, his family or whatever. This mystery figure, none other than uh, Genevieve O'Reilly's Mon Mothma. Well, I, I just remembered, of course, Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano. Uh, these were the the, uh, the other member berries. And uh, the article continues, uh, the report mentioned that they believe Mothma's role will be more akin to a cameo than a flu full bone role. As for why she'd show up in the first place, it is believed Thrawn is the reason behind Mothma's relevancy. Now, Thrawn. People have been waiting for Thrawn to appear in uh, The Mandalorian. I, I think he might uh, make an appearance in, in the future episodes. Now, of course, I'm probably not going to be watching it, so who cares. The now iconic Star Wars villain who made it... Well, that's not true, really, what they are saying here. The now iconic Star Wars villain who, ma who first made his debut on Star Wars Rebels will be leading the charge of a now known threat against the uh, galaxy. Well, I think it was uh, the contribution of Timothy Zahn, was it, at, at the beginning of, of the 90s, with the Thrawn trilogy, not really the Rebels. If you mean, like, the new Disney canon, yes, but this statement, uh, I don't like it, because, you know, the, the Thrawn really appeared f first uh, at the beginning of the 90s. So, what do you make of it, my dear friends? Are you tired of Star Wars? I mean, Disney Star Wars too. Well, I am. And the breaking point for me was Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, there are reviews on my channel of each and every individual episodes of the important Obi-Wan Kenobi show, should you want to check that out. And know for yourselves why it is so horrible. Of course, it was not because of uh, we are istophobes and that we wouldn't like uh, Reva in particular. No, it was just... One of the worst shows on television or on streaming services that I have seen in my entire life. On par, on par with The Rings of Power and uh, The Witcher Blood Origin. Now it seems to me that uh, we are only getting bad shows today. Of course there are bright gems like Stranger Things. But this is really it. Only garbage, garbage, garbage for the consumers to consume. So I am absolutely not excited about seeing Mon Mothma in a scene or two. Actually, I'm quite indifferent. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. And that'll be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.